Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Outtoos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix USB connector connected disconnected problem. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, you might be getting the notification that says USB connector connected and disconnected repeatedly. And this can be kind of annoying and you, you won't be able to actually use your phone. Because again, it's going to actually repeatedly open up your phone and uh, disconnect and disconnect. That It's pretty annoying. You won't be able to use your phone. Now, how do we fix this? So first things first is you first have to guarantee that your phone is actually or, or the hardware components of your phone is actually working properly. First, you need to check the uh, wire that is connected from your phone to your PC. So sometimes the actual wire can be the problem itself. So in this case, the wire can be faulty. So changing or using a different wire can actually solve or uh, basically see if that is the cause of this issue. Now, if you use a different cord and it's still not working properly, then you need the next thing you want to do here is you want to actually check your actual port on your phone. So sometimes the phone itself is going to be the problem. So in this case, uh, you might need to check or have it checked on uh, to a technician. So meaning you need to have this phone checked or if you if it's actually still under a warranty, make sure to call the actual provider or the um, uh, actual uh, brand for it and see if you can get a replacement for your phone. But before doing that, there's still one thing that you could do to actually see if the phone uh, or the phone is not the actual faulty one here. So in this case, we could actually go ahead and open up our settings here and you want to go to about phone. Now from here, you need to look for the version of your Android device. So typically you could go ahead and just click on the version option section here is going to say, uh, it's going to say uh, you are now a developer. So since I'm already a developer here, it's going to say no need. But then again, go ahead and cl click on that version repeatedly until you see the option for you are a developer. Now in this case, once you've done that, what we need to do next is we need to actually look for the section for additional settings. So let's go ahead and click on it. Now from here, scroll down a bit here, look for developer options. Let's go and click on it. And you want to enable developer options. So make sure that this is actually co uh, color blue or whatever uh, op uh, turned on uh, setting or color you have it on your phone. But in this case, once you've turned this on, just scroll down a bit. Look for the USB debugging option here. Now, once you've got it, once you see it in here, make sure to turn that on. As you can see, I've already turned this on, so I won't have or don't have that problem anymore. So in this case, once you've done that, another thing you could do here is you could actually restart your phone to make more things uh, a lot smoother. So press and hold on the power button here. Choose the reboot option here or power off option to restart your phone. But once you've restarted your phone, go ahead and check if that solves the issue. In this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.